Howdy folks, Greenside Project here with another video. Doing the video very early this morning because we've got a busy day, we've got some friends coming up, we've got a barbecue party this evening to go to with the family. Not sure how much mini time I'm going to have today, so uh, I thought I'd get the video done, get it out of the way. As you can see I've undercoated these guys. I've ne not mentioned this before because I kept forgetting, but my librarian, when I was getting his hand off the sprue, his little finger fell off, which is very sad. And to be honest, it wasn't immediately noticeable, but it was the sort of thing that I knew was going to annoy me more than it would annoy anyone else looking at the mini. But what I did was I fashioned an extra small finger out of a little bit of green stuff. And if you look on my previous videos, you can see a little bit of green stuff on the end of the librarian's hand here. But now we've undercoated it, it looks fine, it's not standing out at all, so pretty happy with that. More excitingly though, look what arrived today, folks. Small, yet tasteful, forage world package. Let's have a look what's in here. We've got the regular catalogue, invoice, summer catalogue sheet there. We've got Dark Angels Rhino doors and front plate, which are going to look very cool. The sort of thing that you get, you, you can't be that excited about the time, it's, it is just doors, but it will make the Rhino look fantastic. So uh, at some point reasonably soon we're going to start on the Rhino, going to try magnetising the doors, that sort of thing. Spend some time painting the interior, that's going to be good. So I've got those, more excitingly, and Warhammer Fat Kids, you're going to love this. We've got Mukali number one. Go with Mukali number two. Hello everyone, I am a Mukali. Really looking forward to painting this up. I'm going to do a, a proper step-by-step -step tutorial on this one for people that liked the look of my Mukali last time, which was a few of you. Thank you everyone that came up with the really nice comments about that. I'm going to do a step-by-step. Uh, only slight concern about this guy is, let's see if you can see it in here. Where are you? One sec. Now, you always get this with resin a little bit, so it's not the end of the world. But I had a really good experience last time, which is why I'm bothering to mention it. My poor Mukali rider's spear's got a bit of a bit of droop there, which is sad for him. Obviously I'm going to try putting it in some hot water, straightening it up. If that doesn't work as well as I'd like it to, it'll be time for the older brass rod to come out. But anyway, apart from that, it looks like a fan another fantastic model. Finally, we've got Talan Sniper Team, which look, to be honest, like the best infantry models I've ever seen GWD for Imperial Guard. They look fantastic. I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial for these guys too, I think. Because they just look absolutely brilliant, and that will be sometime early next week. Righty-o guys, uh, question for day three is how old was I when I got into the hobby? The answer is I was 13. The school I was at, it was just a regular school, a regular state-run comprehensive in England. It, uh, it's library used to get in White Dwarf. And I used to just, I found it one day, started reading it. It was just before Gorkham Walker came out which should tell you around abouts when it was, started reading it, started going to the local hobby store, became hooked that way, um, stayed in the hobby until I was about 16, 17, then got distracted by silly things like, you know, girls and beer and things, and then came back to it several years later. Um, which is another story that I might get into one day if you're particularly lucky. Anyway, that's uh, day number three. Have a really great weekend, folks, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Love you, bye.